Hi, I'm David Levin, and welcome to Pop Goes the Culture, the behind-the-scenes and untold TV stories you probably wouldn't have known from the people who lived them. Today, I'm continuing my talk with the great character actress, the late Alice Ghostly. Alice and I talk about her role in To Kill a Mockingbird. She talks about Debbie Reynolds, her guest shots on What's Happening, One Day at a Time, Chico and the Man, Golden Girls, Car 54, Where Are You, Grease. And Alice also talks about playing a madam in an obscure James Garner show. It was a movie that Gregory Peck won the Oscar for. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird? Now, how could I forget that? I don't know. I've been alive too long. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. It's just there's, there's just not enough room. you got to clear out the, uh, the memory circuits. Every yeah, there's cobwebs. <laughs> it's like, well, there's only so much room in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, uh, and then I did... Um, my Six Loves with uh, Debbie Reynolds. And uh, the day we started rehearsal was the day that Eddie Fisher left Elizabeth Taylor for... So, who did he leave her? She left him. For, she left him. She left him. And that was a great day. How so? First, uh, first, uh, everyone was very excited. <laughs> How did Debbie Reynolds feel about it? She seemed happy, you know, and I suppose a little bit uh, uh, revenged or revenged, whatever the word is. A little validation going on. A little bit, yeah, not much. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very public, uh, very public breakup. Wasn't oh it? my goodness, yes. Oh yes, it was. When if you're working with someone like Debbie Reynolds and something like that happens to Eddie Fisher and everybody sort of knows about it, what's the atmosphere like on this? I mean, do people talk about it? Do they sort of like leave it alone? Left it alone. Yeah, it's the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. So she- she got through the day okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. We just kind of sat around and didn't do anything. I always did. I didn't want to get involved in anything. Yeah. Especially something like that, right? Right, yeah. What, um, uh, if, I, if I mentioned a couple other shows, um, how about What's Happening? You were on that quite a bit, weren't you? What's Happening? Now, that was, wasn't, uh... Rerun, Fred Barry, a couple of those guys. Who? Oh. Uh, Bud York and show, What's Happening. So. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking of day at, one day at a time. Oh, that was another good show. That was a good show, yeah. What was it, when, were you, when were you on that? What, what was going on at the time? Uh, I think, uh, see, what was it going on at the time? Probably a war somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Okay. Well, it's okay. Um, Chico and the Man? Huh? Chico and the Man with Freddie Prince? Yeah, I did that. Mm-hmm. Well, I knew him, the father. Mm-hmm. Albertson, wasn't that in Because we did Flim Flam Man together. Mm-hmm. In Kentucky. Really? In Lexington. See, you remember a lot. See, I do. That's a detail. Those one of those of those details. Yeah. How about Golden Girls? I was on that once. Mm-hmm. I played uh, her, her, his mother-in-law, uh, uh, B. Arthur's mother-in-law, and we laughed constantly through it. Never could get through it very good. She's a funny woman, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes. Um, let me see. How about Car 54, Where Are You? Now, that was fun. Those guys were wonderful. I adored him. Fred Gwynn? Yes, Fred Gwynn. He was just wonderful. And what a change he did make when he did... Uh, my cousin Vinny, mm-hmm. the judge, 
pet really was. He was so into the monster that... For the, uh, the Herman Munster thing? Did yes. You do, did you do the monsters ever? No, never did that one. Uh, you were in a uh, pretty iconic, but were you, you in Greece? Oh, I was in Greece. Yeah. I was the uh, auto right. m- mobile teacher, and I taught them all how to drive the uh, car, which was kind of funny because I can't drive. <laughs> but um, that was, a, I tell you, that was a long gig. It really was, and it was, wasn't too comfortable. How comfortable? Because we worked on one of those riverbed things, you know, and you just sat on a slanted, when you sat down, it slanted cement, and it was hot. And uh, then one afternoon, we were on a Ferris wheel, and I was scared to death of them. And we would go up two or three seats up, and we had to swing there all afternoon, practically. So I was glad when that ended. Oh, my gosh. What was uh, Travolta like to work with? Who? John Travolta. What was he like? I never did a scene with him. Really? No. no, All of my scene, maybe briefly at the car, Mm -hmm. but never any scenes that meant anything. Right. Were you with uh, Jeff Conaway at all or some of those guys? Uh, Yeah, he was nice. And the guy that was really nice was... uh, uh, Let's the see. He, he's the, the the son of uh, her. her uh, son of an actor, and he was so nice and polite and sweet. I wish I could remember his name. It wasn't Ralph, though. No, it no. was or David. Or David. Yeah. But that show, that movie became pretty iconic, didn't it? Oh, it That's sure funny. did. They're always doing something on it, you know. That opened in New York, and everybody was surprised that it was a hit there. Why? I suppose they thought it was another one of those things that nobody knew anything about. Nobody knew the people. And it was a kid show, was it? A high school show, everyone thought. Right. Which could never work on Broadway. But it did. Yeah. It was a big hit. And also, was when the when the play came out, it was around 72, I guess. It was, yeah. So it was before American Graffiti even became... Uh, no, it was after American, after Graffiti, after American yeah. Graffiti. That's what it took on. And I also did... Uh, Let's see, Greece and, uh, hmm, I can't remember that other thing I was going to say. Oh, I was on a, a series that didn't last long with David, uh, with uh, Garner. Jim, Jim Garner? Jim Garner, called Nicholas. Nichols. Nicholas. Uh-huh. And that didn't last very long. It was a Western and I think I played a madam in that. Really? A little different than, uh, than some of your other parts. Oh, yes, much different. But it was, while it lasted, it was wonderful. He's a wonderful man. Yeah. He really is. Well, that's it for now. Next time, my archival interview continues with the late Alice Ghostly, one of the great comic character actresses in TV history. But she also played on Broadway, taking over for Dorothy Loudon in the original run as Miss Hannigan in Annie, where she recalls working with a very young Sarah Jessica Parker. And she talks about working on the 70s series Family. She reminisces about her early days growing up in Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and what it was like working with Eartha Kitt and Sheldon Harnick. Till then, what's your favorite memory of Alice Ghostly? Answer in the comments. I will see you next time.